welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Darlene. Today I'm going to be reviewing this automatic curling wand. Let's go ahead and get right into this. So it says the curling time settings, um, it goes from 10 to 15 seconds. It's fast heating up, automatic curl your hair, multiple temperature settings, auto shut off after 30 minutes, and it's 360 rotable. Um, rotable cord and on the back it kind of tells you a little bit on how to use it and then on this side it kind of shows you exactly how like step one step two and step three so let's go ahead and open this up so this is how it comes boxed this is the clear one I do like that it does come with a comb and some clips and then an instruction manual. Look at the color on this. Beautiful. It's like a beautiful rose gold. And I even like the cord. It has like a little Velcro piece that'll keep it like all together when you're not using it, which is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and start heating this up. Okay. So, I'm going to turn it on, and you can do, three ninety, four twenty. I'm going to do, um, it has three twenty, three fifty six Fahrenheit, three ninety two Fahrenheit, and four eighty. So I'm going to do three ninety two. Maybe I should do lower. I'm going to go three um, sixty five since my hair is really thin. And then it also has these buttons right here, which you, so you can alternate your curls depending on what side you're doing. So I'm gonna start off with this side, so I'll be going this way. Um, let me go ahead and get the comb and everything out. I already start filling it, getting warm already. So I'm going to, I'm gonna clip this up on this side. And then this side, I'm just going to clip up when I'm not curling, so just like this. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this piece of hair. I'm gonna stick it on the side where the opening is. And then I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna hold it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. So that's what it looks like. So as you can hear, it beeps. I think the first beep is the first setting. Um, let me see, because it says on the box. So I think the first beep is 10 seconds, the second beep is 12 seconds, and the third beep is 15 seconds second so it just depends on what you want to hold it to so there's my first curling and I'm going to do all my curls actually this is not the way I wanted this one to face but it's okay it's all good so I just need to pay attention to which way I'm rotating it so I want the curl to go this way so let's see if I can be a little more intentional Okay, so you see it sucked it up, no problem whatsoever. Let's get you guys a little closer. There's 12. Okay. So just like that. I'm not liking this way. I'm gonna go ahead and recurl this because I don't like the way it's facing because I want it to actually go the opposite way. I'm actually going to make this curl a little bit smaller because that was pretty thick. So let's try. So it's going this way. So I want to go this way. Okay, that's better. 
that's the way I was wanting it to face. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. Just like that. So you can see my hair is really straight right now. And like I said, oops. So you just grab it to where the opening is right there. And then you press which direction you want it to go. And you hold it down. See, I'm holding it down until it's all the way in there. And then I'm going to hold it. I forgot this little piece right here. I'll have to get it later. And then I wait till it goes to the third beep before I remove it. Which is nice. I did not get the end of that. Oh, I should have kept curling it. It's okay. We'll just redo it. We can just redo it. There, it should be able to go in there now. There it goes. Let me get this little piece that I forgot. That one, I'll have to keep it as long because it's such a small piece. So as you can see, it's actually doing a really good job. Hold on, I want this to be a little more smooth right here. You just wanna make sure that the pieces aren't too big because then it does um, not turn out as good if it's too big of a chunk. If you keep them pretty much like a, a half of an inch thick, it turns out pretty good. You just want to, you don't want it to be too thick. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish curling my hair off camera and I'll show you what the completed product looks like. Okay, so to turn it off, you just hold it down. And it is off, it's not heating anymore. So this is what it turned out like. As you can see, this one's a little more just put together because I got the hang of it and on how to use it. So after I'm done, um, doing that, I usually put some spray in it. So let me go ahead and spray it down real quick. Okay. So that is what it looks like completed. I love it. I think that the curls turned out really pretty. I do like the curls on this side a little more, but this is also really nice. It's a little more like unput together, a little bit more messy, which a lot of people like. This one's a little more just put together. So it just depends on what you like. So yes, I would highly recommend this, especially for kids. This is a great gift idea if your child's like wanting to learn how to do their hair because it would be really hard to burn. Like you'd have to stick your fingers down in there to burn yourself. And it's kind of just like you just suck it up, hold it, pull it out. You don't have to worry about burning yourself or anything like that. So it's great for beginners. Like if you don't know how to curl your hair. So I love this. I will be using this. I'll be using it on my little girls because I know that they'll absolutely love this. But yeah, that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. God bless.